Imagine solving mysteries without stepping out of your home. No hacking, no secret access, just using public information smartly. That is the power of OSINT. So guys, in this tutorial, we are going to cover about OSINT, which stands for Open Source Intelligence, and we are going to use popular OSINT tools that you can use. So whether you are a cybersecurity beginner, generalist, investigator, or marketer, or just curious, this session will give you a clear understanding of what is OSINT and why it matters. So now before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got professional certificate program in cybersecurity. It covers over 100 hours of live classes led by industry experts. You are going to engage in three capstone 60 plus projects and AI integrated labs. Learn 20 plus tools like Metasploit, Burp Suit, Nmap and many more. You are also going to learn Gen AI in cybersecurity with our specialized module. So guys hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So let's get started. So guys, let us start with first understanding what is OSN. So OSN stands for Open Source Intelligence, which is a collection and analysis of data gathered from publicly available sources to produce actionable intelligence. For example, guys, a security analyst might use OSN to find if an employee's credentials have been leaked online or to map an attacker's digital footprint. Everything you gather is already available in public domains like websites, social media, blogs, public records, etc. And the common sources where people search are like search engines like Google or Binge, news outlets, social media platforms, forums and online communities are there, public databases and even in government records. OSINT is used by Various professions like cybersecurity professionals, law enforcement agencies, journalists, business and market researchers, and HR recruiters. Now, we will dive a bit deep and understand why OSINT is important. So, our first reason is because of threat intelligence. OSINT helps cybersecurity teams and IT departments to monitor public data for early signs of threats or vulnerabilities. How it works guys actually, so like scanning hacker forums and dark web marketplaces are there for leaked credentials, they look out on those platforms. And monitoring social media or blogs where attacker might post about exploit. You can also find exposed databases or IoT devices via tools like Shodan. So you could see why these reasons make OSINT a popular threat intelligence tool. For example, a company uses OSINT to discover that employee email address and passwords were part of a recent data breach and they quickly force password resets before attackers can use data. So in this way, OSINT can be very much important in threat intelligence. The next reason is background checks. Businesses, law enforcement and even HR teams use OSINT to verify the background of individuals or organizations. How it works guys? So you could check social media activity, review public records like court cases, news articles. You could also verify employment history or credentials. For example, an HR department performs an OSN based background check before hiring a high level executive, discovering undisclosed legal issues from public courts and records. So this is very much important in background checks. Next, the third reason is market research. Companies gather publicly available information to understand competitors, customer behavior, and industry trends. How it works, guys? It analyzes competitors' social media and reviews. It scrapes e-commerce sites for pricing trends. You can gather customer sentiment from forums and comments. For example, guys, a marketing team uses OSN tools to track what customers are saying about a competitor's new product launch across social media and review sites. So in this way, it could be very much useful. And finally, we have locating missing person. Law enforcement or non-profits and even volunteers use OSN to help find missing people. That would sound interesting to you. So how it works, guys? Like you could monitor social media posts for sightings or clues. You could search public records and surveillance camera data. You could also use geolocation data from images or posts. So volunteers generally use social media OSN to get the sightings of a missing person by analyzing the tag location and cross-referencing the public post. In this way, people are using it for locating missing person also. So OSINT, you could see, have a variety of use cases and because of that, it makes it a very much important tool. 
Now, let us move ahead and discuss about popular OSM tools. So the first one is search engines. So when you start gathering information with OSM, the first and the easiest tool you will use is a search engine like Google or Bench. These search engines will help you find website news, articles, social media posts, or PDF files, public records, and much more. So instead of just typing simple keyword, you can use special search commands like advanced search operators to narrow down and get exactly what you want. For example, uh, you could use siteexample.com. So for example, let me show you. So suppose this is Google and here I'm searching like site bbc.com and I'll type cyber security. So you could see this will show only cyber security articles published on the BBC website. And this is useful very much. Like if you want information from a trusted source or a specific company site, this will save you a lot of time. You could also type something like this. For example, cyber security report and you could use OSN like file type and just give PDF. Now you could see all over here that many reports and research papers or even official documents are saved as PDFs. And this will help you skip blogs or unrelated pages and go straight to the valuable content. But that's one of the most amazing thing is there. I'll show you one more. So for example, this one is called index of. So here, let's say if I type in title and let's say I type index of and after that, I'll type confidential report. So you could see all over here that we are getting the related results, okay? So this might find open folders where companies have accidentally or intentionally left reports viewable to the public. Now, sometimes organizations leave folder accessible that contain useful documents or files. So this operator helps you locate them very much easily. So for example, in a real world scenario, you want to find public press releases from a company named Technova. So instead of just typing Technova press release, you can use site technova.com press release file type PDF. So this command will give you the exact thing which you are looking for. That was just a kind of thing what we have done in bits and pieces. I have just made them into one line. So you could try this thing. Now let us move ahead and discuss about our second platform. So guys, our second platform are social media monitoring, which means tracking public posts, comments, and trends on platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and many more. Instead of manually searching each platform, tools like Hootsuite, Sprout Social help you automate and organize this process. So if I talk about Hootsuite, guys, it lets you create dashboards to monitor multiple social media accounts at once. You can set up streams to track mentions of keyword, hashtags, or accounts. It would also allow you to schedule posts and analyze engagement data. Next, you have Sprout Social. Now, this is similar to Hootsuite only, but it offers deep analytics. It provides reports on audience behavior and sentiment, which could be positive or negative mentions. It also helps discover trending topics and key influencers in your niche. So guys, these are some of the popular social media monitoring tools. These tools can help you track mentions of people, companies, or keywords. You can follow trending hashtags related to your research. You can monitor public sentiments, which are positive, negative, or neutral. You could also identify important or influential account discussing a topic. So as a result, you get a real-time organized insights across social media without manually searching each platform. So this is how these tools are very much important. Now let us discuss about our third tool, which is web scraping tools. Now web scrapping means automatically extracting data from websites. Instead of copying and pasting information manually, you use a tool or a script that visits a website and pulls out the data you want. So guys, now let us discuss why OSINT is useful. So in this scenario, like OSINT researcher often need large amount of data from blog posts, product listings, social media pages, public records, etc. And web scrapping tools can gather this data quickly and efficiently. For example, you're using Beautiful Soup. 
which is simple and great for parsing HTML or XML files. Then if I talk about Scrappy, uh, it, it could also be incorporated very powerful framework for building web crawlers. Now there's another amazing tool which is called as Multigo, which is a powerful data mining and visualization tool. It can build graphs to visualize how people, companies, website and IPs are connected. So one use case could be you would be mapping the network of connections between cyber criminals. So Multigo can be very much useful in that scenario. Now let us discuss about this OSINT framework. What it is. The OSINT framework isn't a tool itself. It's more like a roadmap or directory that helps you find the right tool for the job. It's a website that organizes hundreds of OSN tools and resources into easy to navigate categories. Let me show you. Now go to the Google and type osnframework.com. So you could see the first result that we are getting is official website of OSN framework. And instead of spending just hours like searching which tool to use, you just go to this tool Okay, and uh, what do you do? You go to the OSN framework and pick the category which you want to use. So suppose you could see there are a lot of categories available. Okay, so based on your given specification, you could use it. Now this tool covers username and email lookups, phone number lookups, social media tools, geolocation, domain and IP research, public records, dark web tools, malware analysis, and many more. Now imagine, you are an OSN researcher and you want to do an analysis. So you could go to the official website and for example, you want to look for email addresses. Now, when you type all over here and after selecting it, it will show you a list of tools that links for investigating email addresses. Click the tool you want to use and you could start your research. So guys, this is one of the very much amazing framework. Now let us move ahead and discuss about some other tools. Now let us discuss about the data analysis tools. So guys, once you gather data using OSN tools like from websites, social media or public records, the next step is to organize, analyze and visualize that data to find patterns, insights or anomalies. Now, this is the time where data analysis tools come. So first you have Excel, which is great for creating basic data sorting and charts. Then you could also use Tableau, which is basically used for advanced or interactive dashboards. You could also use Python. Python has amazing capabilities for doing the data analysis. Then you have R, which is basically used for complex statistical analysis. So these tools can be used for identifying patterns in data breaches or social media trends. So that's why data analysis tools are very much important. Now I hope so guys you would have got a brief idea regarding the OSN tool. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's video. Thank you guys for watching it. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.